All right, let's get started. Well, first off, hello everyone. Again, I'll say uh, my name, I am Andre Bearfield. I'm a product manager at DigitalOcean responsible for managed databases. Um, I'm based in Seattle, Washington, where it is currently 10.37 p.m. Um, it was a beautiful day in Seattle today, sunny, um, which is a great change oh, as over the weekend it was overcast and rainy, the kind of thing everyone hears about Seattle. Um, I just wanna say before I get started, I'm very happy to be here to present with you all today. And I'm hoping you guys are having uh, as beautiful a day as we had in Seattle today. Okay, so today we're gonna to talk a little bit about managed databases, um, which we released, uh, DigitalOcean released last year in 2019. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about while we're on the pathway um, to build technologies like uh, managed databases, um, what that means for you. And we'll talk a little bit about what's coming next for the managed databases platform. But before we talk about managed databases, we'll talk a little bit more about droplets first. Next slide. All right, digital ocean droplets. Um, I expect everyone here has a sense of what that is. Um, if you don't, at the very highest level, droplets are rock solid, on-demand VM service with the fantastic price to performance ratio. Um, and they're simple to use. Droplets are built to make it incredibly easy for all of our users and potential users to get started building their applications uh, as simply and as quickly as possible. And through the development and release uh, of droplets and engagement with our rich and valuable user base over the years, We've learned a lot about what it takes to help businesses get up and running uh, as quickly and simply as possible. Um, at DigitalOcean, we're committed to becoming the definitive cloud platform for developers, for startups and businesses by moving up the stack and providing more value by making it simple to handle even more complex infrastructure problems, which is why in 2019 we determined to move forward with building managed databases. Next slide. So databases now, what is a database? Uh, well, databases represent often what can be considered the most core or critical component of modern applications. Um, the core value of your application is mostly, most commonly stored in the data tier. Um, and so while, you know, the thing about getting a database online is that it's actually not that difficult to do. It's relatively uh, simple to get started. Um, droplets, as I noted, are awesome. They're, you know, you can get one online in just a matter of seconds. Um, you can also easily install database technology, a database engine of your choice, um, onto a droplet with uh, just a couple command line, uh, just a couple, um, you know, app get, install whatever you're interested in, I suppose. Um, actually, Digital Forest has taken it a step further on the installation to simplify even just those introductory steps by delivering a Digital Ocean Marketplace, which provides an entire ecosystem of pre-configured droplets that empower users to get up and running uh, with just one click. So installation is fast. And it's simple, in a few steps, you got your infrastructure online, you got your database engine where it should be. So knowing that that's easy, you know, the, so the, I guess for me, the question is like, since it's so easy to get started, why would you engage with the managed technology? And the answer, next slide, is the problem of infrastructure life cycle management. So once you get past that first step, once you get online with your application and you get your development rolling forward, just on the other side of getting started, things can get relatively complicated. So what does happen next? After you, you know, get your droplet spun up, you app get your um, database engine installed. So just imagine that two weeks after you get your application online and you have a couple beta users on the platform and you receive a CVE via email, a security, a security vulnerability notification. 
how do you plan to apply those changes without impacting your users? Um, and in a small business, how do you determine to prioritize that step that is actually important for the security of your platform over the next new feature that all of your beta users are clamoring for? Um, beyond security patches and updates, uh, what about scaling? Imagine your 15 beta users quickly becomes 15,000 or a million users after you, you publicly release your application. I know that sounds exciting. Anytime you have 15,000 or a million people coming to your page, uh, inputting their data, engaging with your solution, that's exciting. But the question is, are you prepared to deal with the changes that it requires at the infrastructure level to handle the increased activity and the massive amount of data that will come in from those users. On the other side, there are issues like reliability. So how do you keep your data safe and adjust when issues occur? If you have someone on your team who's new and they insert a, uh, they do a bad insert, for example, and apply some change to the database that you really need to roll back, are you prepared to roll those changes back? Are you, the challenge of dealing with these small changes can be quite complicated. And actually what you need in that case is a backup facility that has a cap capability of rolling back to a previous time without interrupting your users, which is actually in an entirely different application um, outside of the one that you're, you're trying to serve. And there are other items like maximizing uptime. So when you get to your 15,000 or million users, you want them to have the capability of engagement with your application without interruption. And everyone here knows that, you know, infrastructure has failures time to time. I'm sure many of you have smartphones or a laptop at your home. Um, and you're all personally familiar with the scenario under which um, your smartphone isn't, isn't functioning as you expect. Just, a re, just rebooting your smartphone in an inopportune time can be complicated. Or when you have an issue with an operating system on your machine, these sorts of issues are predictable and they occur um, just as frequently in the data center with servers as they do with your laptop, with your smartphone, et cetera. And so when you're dealing with 15,000 customers, the need to make sure you're prepared to deal with a predictable failure without negatively impacting the user experience and the value you're providing to your users is, is quintessential. Um, and just like backup restore technology, solving for high availability is another unique application. It, it sounds like a lot of work, right? It sounds like a lot of work to me. But more importantly, it sounds like a lot of work that is likely outside of the scope of building your particular application. So for me, I think that the key, uh, the key question when engaging with upstack technologies, technologies that intend to reduce your need to be a DevOps expert in order to launch an application, for example, the key question to consider, next slide, is where do you want to develop your expertise as a startup, as an individual, as a small business? Is it, is it strategic for you to become the best database backup company in your space? Will developing a rock solid high availability story become a, different, a differentiating factor for your application or your business? And as builders and entrepreneurs, uh, we gotta remain focused, right? And so we have to, we have to be particular about where we place our investments, where we place our best people. Um, and we have to figure out, does it make sense for us to engineer solutions to solve problems while our ultimate intention is to provide a new and unique value to our end users? Next slide, please. So when we talk to our customers, when we ask our customers about databases, this is what they said, um, a synopsis of what many customers said. 
and they're saying that most startups, most small businesses want to set it and forget it solution so that they can rest easy with confidence that their data is safe and available. So if you don't need to build database management features, if it's not strategic for you to roll your own infrastructure, for you to figure out how to build a highly available, highly available database cluster, or to build a backup and rest restoration strategy for your data, it makes sense to utilize a service that takes care of the heavy lifting so that you can get back to the work that, different, that differentiated your application from your competitors. And these are, this is the precise reason DigitalOcean has determined to pursue upstack technologies like managed databases and also DOKS is a great example there. And as AJ mentioned earlier, the app platform technology on the way this year is another step in the direction of removing some of these key overhead burdens uh, to enable all of our users to focus primarily on the goal that makes them of value. Next slide. So in 2019, we, we started to build uh, and to provide a solution for some of these problems, specifically focused on managed databases, uh, as given the context of this, of this talk. And so what did we do? What did we build? What are we providing? So we wanted to make it simple to scale without issue. Naturally, we wanted to get you to be able to get started fast. But as noted, getting started fast on DigitalOcean is generally not a difficult thing to accomplish. But we wanted you to be able to take those next steps. So we wanted you to be able to scale without issue. So that means just start small and grow as your cluster so grow, grow your cluster as your needs change. So this means you don't have to worry about what the right size is. You don't need to think about um, where you might be in three months today, right? Or you don't have, need to be prepared to solve the problem of your 15 turning to 15,000 or your 15,000 turning to a million because scale is simple and managed with managed databases. Um, we focused on security. So all data with, used with managed databases is encrypted at rest and in transit. We handle patches and updates for you. They can be applied automatically in a window that you reserve for yourself. So you schedule this in advance and they're applied in a window as you're using. You can also choose to apply on demand if that is a better, um, if that is more minimal to your business and approach. We wanted to make sure that your database and your data tier remains durable. So we have provided seven days of backups with point in time recovery, um, which is included with the service. So no extra charges for that. And that means that for in a seven day time frame, you have the capacity to roll back to any point in time um, and restore to a net new cluster if you want to try. If you want, if you need to roll the entire system back, you can go to a net new cluster. Um, if you need to data for a dev uh, experiment, you can also use this tool to create a cluster just for testing purposes as well. Um, we make, we have the option for high available clusters. So this managed databases is offered in a single node up to three node um, high availability, which allows you to maximize uptime. Naturally, this is optional. Um, because, you know, maybe when you get started, you, you just want to start with a single node, but you should move forward with confidence to know that at the moment that you rise, you need to maximize uptime, then only with just two clicks, you can have a high availability scenario that is managed totally for you without your consideration. Um, and then finally, deep host and database level metrics, which uh, are available through the cloud UI, and these give you insight into the performance. You can actually set alerts um, uh, based on these metrics as well. So you can be alerted as uh, different, in, different um, elements impact um, your service. All right, next slide. So in 2019, we made available three engines. We started with Postgres in February, 
and then followed with my SQL in Redis later in the year uh, in uh, October and September. Um, this, these engines represent the most desired and utilized database engines among data digital ocean users. Um, we are actively investigating expanding the database platform to support additional database engines. And actually, we'd love to hear from you about the engines that are most valuable to you. Um, and please write this down. It'll be, uh, it's on the last slide, so it'll be in the video presentation. But you can always go to ideas.digitalocean.com, and that is your way to submit feature requests directly to the product team. So we'd love to hear from you. You can also email me if you want to talk specifically about managed databases. Next slide. So now I'll share just a little, a couple of anecdotes, uh, a little feedback that we received from users just uh, in the first few months that we had these uh, engines online. First, uh, a company, uh, Nibble Tech, uh, they basically uh, support web application development and they provide a series of services that um, simplify multi-location business management. And they're saying digital ocean managed databases have been a game changer. Uh, they've done a fantastic job of removing the complexity of setting up, tuning, securing databases for production use. Uh, and then you are my guide, uh, which is a business that uses um, artificial intelligence to provide marketing intelligence to their customer. And what they're saying is, with managed databases for Postgres, we can scale our business with Postgres and timescale DB extensions in a glance. No need to worry about availability or anything else. We can move our business forward. I promise that came from them. I know this presentation, it sounds like they're saying what I'm saying, but they, you know, this is direct quotes from our, from our customers. All right, next slide. All right, before we get, uh, pull this to a conclusion, I just wanna talk a little bit more about where we're going. Um, we just released these engines last year, but we are actively engaged with improving the platform um, by adding uh, I, some, some features that I consider very critical uh, to our customers. And uh, let's just start with online data migration tooling. Um, it, um, you can, PG upload or MySQL upload your, your data from your existing platforms today, but we're working to make it possible for you to do online migrations that use logical replication into the service, which means that you can gain the benefit of zero time migrations to the service. Um, we are also, uh, as mentioned by AJ and Yancy, we released some new um, droplet types in, the, in 2019, general purpose droplets, memory optimized droplets, um, which provide dedicated RAM and CPU. Um, and we think that both of these droplet types could be uh, very, very valuable to high performance workloads by offering better uh, or higher ratios of RAM to, um, RAM to CPU. Um, we are also keyly focused on um, scalable storage for data intensive workloads. Um, those of you who, who may have used the service before may know that um, managed databases use this local SSD um, by default today, which is very fast. Um, but what we need to be able to do is make sure that users have the cap capacity to right size their storage usage with the RAM and CPU allocation that makes the most sense for their particular needs. Um, and then finally, on-demand snapshots. As I mentioned, we do back up the service for you. We handle all the backups and the restoration process, but we have heard from users that there are conditions under which uh, users might want to take snapshots of databases for local storage or offsite storage for their own security cases. So we're also looking to that for some of the higher end business users uh, and actually anybody who's interested. Um, and we are also investigating additional engines. So please, ideas.digitalocean.com. We love to hear from you. All right. So the last slide, the next slide, I'm sorry. At DigitalOcean, we believe that Upstack technologies empower developers and startups by, allow, uh, by allowing them to offload DevOps overhead so that they can focus on the applications that make them unique. We are more than pleased 
to be a partner to all of you, and we strive to play a role in your success by helping you focus on your business first. Thank you.